Heyo, it's Ao. Everyone knows your speed falls off a cliff when you go over your leg's load limit. But did you know that isn't the only cliff you should be worried about? Adding weight always has a negative effect on your booster speed, but some weight matters more than others. If your AC build goes over certain weight amounts, you can find yourself losing huge chunks of boost speed. For example, I just finished picking out the frame for a new AC, and I just need to add weapons. Alright, after adding one Gatling gun, my speed drops by 5. Now after we add another Gatling, a drop of 41. To properly convey this point, I've made a graph. Each point on this graph represents what happens to your speed whenever we add a thousand weight. The graph was generated with the fastest booster in the game, the P06 SPD. But the graph shape is consistent amongst other boosters, including the integrated boosters of the tank legs. On a standard middleweight, after adding 1000 weight, we lose approximately 0.8 max boost speed. Except once we get to this point in the graph, between the weight of 75k and 80k, each 1000 weight added results in a drop of 8 max boost speed, 10 times more than what we experienced earlier. After 80k, the trade-off levels out again at 1000 weight to 1.0 max boost speed lost. Now, there's obviously more to an AC than being fast. Frankly, it wouldn't be Armored Core if there weren't trade-offs to be made. However, I wanted to bring attention to the fact that these trades are not always even. If boost speed is important to your build, there's a good chance you'll want to keep it under 75k weight. This cliff is pretty easy to miss if you're using certain legs. The VP422 barely allows you to start falling off the cliff if you max out its leg load. If you've been using this leg or something lighter, you'd likely never notice the biggest speed cliff before going over your load limit. I'm curious to see how many people actually noticed this large drop off. One more thing I wanted to comment on before I go. Looking at the graph, there is actually a second cliff further on the left of the graph. It's not as steep at negative 4, but it's still there. These two cliffs seems to artificially separate the graph into three distinct sections. Three sections that somewhat line up with my definition of a lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight respectively. So while it's still a sliding scale, FromSoft seems to be subtly encouraging these categories. That's it for today. Subscribe for more Armored Core content. This has been Ao. Take it easy. Bye.